New tonight, the new Richmond community needs to find new soccer fields for the kids. Teams have played at the Beckshard Fields next to the Duke Energy Power Plant for about 15 years. Here's an exclusive view of the fields from Chopper 9, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. Duke says it needs the land now. It needs it back as it gets ready to close the plant, but that means the kids need to find a new place to play soccer, which is really tough. I am joined now by Steve Williams with the New Richmond Soccer Association and his two children, Caleb and Hollis, and you guys play on that field. So the news, when did you guys get it and, and how hard of a hit is that? Um, April of last year, mm -hmm. actually, and we've been, it's a hard hit because trying to find 17 acres of flat property to play soccer on. Is 17 acres. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, and do you understand why it's happening? Well, we've heard different stories, but sure. it, it, it mostly due to the decommissioning of the Bechtold power plant, they need a place to place the machinery and large mm -hmm. vehicles and things of that nature. And so I, I'm not angry at Duke. They're, you know, sure. they've been very wonderful to the community for many, many years, but um, they have to do what they have to do with the business closing. Sure. And so with it closing, it leaves you guys kind of with your hands up in the air. Absolutely. We, okay. uh, uh, myself and Dale Yance, the president of the league, have been chasing property, trying to find anything we can. We're a not-for-profit, so we don't make any kind of money. We don't have a large bank account. Mm -hmm. So we're dependent on league fees. We're dependent on donations from the from people. And I think people assume, well, why not play at a park district or something? Is that an assumption that anybody can make? Well, um, the nearest park district to us is, is Monroe, and they offered us small areas mm -hmm. where we could place one field at a time. Um, we need the cumulative seven fields all at one time, plus the parking that goes with it. Mm -hmm. um, and Monroe Township was gracious enough to offer that, but sure. we can't, it, it's not feasible for our soccer league. It's not feasible for any soccer league. Because most, of the, uh, most of the parks they have barely hold 10 to 12 cars at a time and you're looking at 100 cars per every game or two. Um, so how many we, kids are we talking about? Well, in the spring, between yeah. 200 and 250, and in the fall, 300 plus, sometimes close to 400. Holy cow, now, okay. So we're talking about, and, and kids, why is it so important to you? Because we like playing it. You like playing it, it's that simple. And you guys have a GoFundMe, right? Yes, we do. Um, it's GoFundMe.com slash uh, soccer, mm -hmm. And then we have link at, links at the uh, inrsoccer.org. And we have a link on our Facebook page as well. So this is a pretty, when do you have to have fields and, and money in place to do this? Um, our lease runs out. Yeah. They, uh, Duke has extended until the end of October for us. Actually, okay. it goes into the first of the year, but October is the end of our fall season. So we're going to get mm -hmm. to play fall here. Um, Which is great. Moscow, Ohio has offered us a large parcel of property at a very economical rate, um, but we got to get the fields ready. And it's going to cost, just to get the fields ready to play, $60,000 to level the fields, crown them, drainage, parking. Um, we have a construction company, Utter Constructions, willing to do the work labor free, but it's still going to cost upwards of sixty thousand dollars. And that's just for the fields. That's why we have the GoFundMe. That's why we've reached out to local businesses, and and you guys have been so wonderful to allow us to come down here and speak to you. Well, it's in the name of kids playing soccer. Right? Absolutely, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. So. All right. Well, good luck to you, and good luck, kids. Uh, and thanks for being here. Thank thanks you so much for your time. time. Much appreciated. You bet. Um, and we have posted a link, uh, uh, Nine on Your Side actually has posted a link to the GoFundMe on our website, wcpo.com.